Good morning, everyone. It's 11.46 a.m. in Cyprus, Texas. I'm waiting for the sun to set in Nerpio, Spain. What you're looking at is my information center that's supplied to me by the Global Rentoscope network of telescopes located around the world on three different continents. You have an observatory in Mayo, New Mexico. They have an observatory in Nerpio, Spain. And they have an observatory in Victoria, Australia. Right now, Victoria is, it is nighttime, but the telescopes are unavailable due to weather. When the roof is closed, it normally means weather. When it's offline, I'm not quite sure. Uh, normally when the roofs are closed, they'll do some offline work. The weather down in Victoria, Australia is hard to find good weather down there, and that's my experience. So right now we're waiting for the three telescopes in, in the northern hemisphere that we have located in Nerpio, Spain. I am not sure if the telescopes in Nerpio can see the asteroid as soon as it gets dark. Here is the page for GRASS-17. We'll go back. GRASS-17 is a plane wave CDK telescope, 17 inches in diameter, speed, a focal speed of 6.8. This is the dashboard for that telescope. It is waiting for the information from me to send it on its way once it's opened. Once I retrieve the information from the IAU, International Astronomical Union, the ephemerids, which contains the coordinates of the object and the orbital path, projected orbital path. It'll take these images. It'll take 10 images using a red filter exposed at 45 seconds. It'll take three green, three blue, and three clear. That's if the telescope can see the asteroid when I put the information in this line and I send it on its way. Here is the observatory as it looks from the telescope. You'll see up here there are high walls around the telescopes. The objects that these telescopes are looking at must be high enough, elevated enough in the sky for them to find it. Even when the telescopes are unable to find the object because they're too low on the horizon, I can still retrieve current uh, right ascension and declination coordinates for that object. So. Even when it doesn't work, I still get some information, and for this evening, any information is good information. And what I will do if they cannot see it is I'll continue, and I'll come back in an hour, and I'll try again. And we'll keep trying until a telescope can find the object and take a picture. Come back to the information center. We see the Terminator line right here. It's past it. It's, it's, it's close to evening, but it still hasn't opened up the observatories yet. I'll scroll down here and I'll see the most current image. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can click on it again. I'll refresh. You see an image of the telescope. It's going to probably return a like this an, an error, and I'm just going to come back and click on the acquire comet page again. It still has my image series in there, but I think it's going to update this. I mean, there we go. Now it's a little bit darker. What we can see is the moon over there. We can see milky skies. So the red filter is going to assist us. I, it's going to be hard to see. I, I don't see any weather, so I'm still hoping that uh, they'll open up the observatory, but we have what many would say would be geoengineered clouds or chemtrails or whatever you want to call them. I see streaks and lines. I believe that's the moon over there. The other, that's just uh, lens flares. Let's hope nighttime comes soon enough before the clouds build up and we at least get a shot because the observatories will be open. We need the observatories to open. If the observatories don't open uh, for me, I won't be even uh, able to get an image of my own because uh, it's rainy in Texas over here. By the time it gets nighttime tonight, by the time this Terminator line crosses over Texas and gets over here, it's going to be rainy. I don't know what the weather is in Mayhill, New Mexico yet. 
I'm hoping for the best. So that's the current sky view. I believe that's the moon. That's, that is the moon. So it's, it's only milkiness. I don't see any stars yet in the sky. And I'm hoping that they'll open up the observatories. Just give us a try. Let us have, a, let us have our way with it. That's what I'm hoping. Hoping for nighttime to get here, too. This is probably the fifth screen capture I've done over 10 minutes. We're at 5 minutes and 36 seconds. I keep on trying it too soon. I should just try to do it after it's opened up. But uh, I felt that it was important for you to see and feel the experience of waiting for the, observ the observatories to open. That's what you're doing right now with me. Waiting for an observatory to open so that we can take a picture, attempt to take a picture of YU-55 and look at what just happened. Look what just happened. There it is. They're not going to open the roofs. because of that. I can't put in the code unless the roofs are open and the telescopes are running. It looked like it was getting worse as the sun was setting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and upload this, and, and that's my first observation report. Waiting for the observatories in um, Nerpio, Spain to open, only to find out that the milky skies kept the roofs closed. That is taking out some of the opportunity to image YU-55. We have another uh, geographical location with cloudy skies, Nerpio, Spain. So, hmm. I'm not happy with that because there's one of my observation points down. I'm going to keep my eye on it because it may open up again. If they clear up, they'll open up. So it'll be something that we're going to pay attention to together. But I'm going to stop this one now. Initially, I'm not able to get my first images because the roofs in Erpio, Spain uh, did not open. Talk to you more later. Bye. Oh, before I go, at uh, th 3... 3 p.m. Eastern on uh, American Freedom Radio. I'm going to be talking with uh, Sonia, the Truth of Girls. So American Freedom Freedom Radio at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern with Truth of Girls, Sonia. I'm going to be doing a report, and this is what I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to be telling you everything I learned just today. There's so much information going on. Uh, nothing earth-changing, Nothing that's made me change my mind, but of course, lots of information is going up. So this is my bit. My first attempt at observing the asteroid using robotic telescopes was unsuccessful because of this weather. That may be getting worse and may get better, and the roofs may open later. So until then.